Hello guys and welcome on this video. In this video guys, I'm gonna be so glad to share with you uh, the uses and a lot of information regarding uh, Tom Soul scene. Guys, please before starting this video, can you just help me by hitting the like button in this video and just subscribe into my channel that will help me to support me in, in do more videos in the future. Thank you and I will really appreciate your support. Tamsolacin belongs to a group of medicines called alpha blockers. It's used to treat men with symptoms of an enlarged prostate. It's also occasionally taken to treat kidney stones and prostatitis. Prostatitis, excuse me. Alpha blockers reduce blood pressure by relaxing your blood vessels so blood can pass through them more easily. Tamsolacin helps to reduce the symptoms of Enlarged prostate gland by relaxing the muscle around the bladder and prostate gland so you can pee more easily. This medicine is available on prescription and you can also buy the brand Flomax Relief from pharmacies. It comes as tablets and capsules. If you buy Tamsolacin from a pharmacy, see a GP within 6 weeks of starting your treatment to make sure it's okay for you to carry on taking this medicine. Tamsolacin is sometimes combined with other ingredients to treat bladder problems and enlarged prostate. Brand name include Visomni with Soli, Phanacin, and Combodart. K facts. When you take Tamsolacin, you may feel dizzy or lightheaded or start sweating. If this happens, it's best to sit or lie down until you feel better. <laughs> Do not drink alcohol, drive, cycle, or use tools or machinery. You will take Tomsolacin once a day, usually in the morning after breakfast or the first meal of the day. The main side effects of Tomsolacin are feeling dizzy and problems when ejaculating such as little or no semen. Alcohol can increase the blood pressure lowering effects of Tomsolacin which can make you feel dizzy or lightheaded. It's best to stop drinking alcohol until you see how the medicine affects you. Now guys, I'm going to discuss with you who can and cannot take Tamsolacin. So who can take Tamsolacin? Most adults aged 18 years and over can take Tamsolacin. This medicine is not usually taken by children under 18 years old, unless a specialist children doctor prescribe it. Who may not be able to take Tamsolacin? Tamsolacin is not suitable for some people. To make sure this medicine is safe for you, tell a doctor if you have ever had an allergic reaction to Tamsolacin and other similar medicines such as Alfuzacin, Doxazacin, Parazacin, or Tirazacin. Have orthostatic hypotension, a type of low blood pressure that can make you feel dizzy or lightheaded when you stand up. Have severe liver or kidney problems, or having eye, eye surgery for cataract or glaucoma, ever faint well pain or immediately afterwards micro tuition syncope. <clears throat> so how and when to take Tamsolacin? Tamsolacin comes as slow release tablet and capsules, also called modified release, prolonged release, MR or XL. This means the medicine is released into your body gradually. Dosage. The usual dose of Tamsolacin for enlarged prostate and kidney stones is 400 microgram once a day. The word microgram is sometimes written with a Greek symbol followed by a letter G. A microgram is 1000 times smaller than a milligram. How to take it? Take your Tamsolacin capsules or tablet with a drink of water while either sitting or standing. Swallow them whole, do not break, chew or crush them. If you can, take some solace in the morning after a breakfast or the first meal or snack of the day. This is because highest level of medicine are in your body six hours after you take it. This will give you the most benefit during daytime when you are most likely trying to pee. It's best to take it about the same time each day. How long to take it for? How long to take it for depends on why you are taking it. For an enlarged prostate, if Tamsolacin is helping your symptoms, you can continue to take it long term. Your doctor might check every few months that you are still having relief from symptoms. 
For kidney stones, your doctor might tell you to stop taking it for your kidney stones have gone or if the medicine is not helping you. Your doctor may check every few months that you are still having relief from symptoms. Talk to a doctor if you want to stop taking damsolacin. Stopping suddenly could make your symptoms come back. If you are bothered by side effects, the doctor may be able to prescribe a different medicine. If you forget to take it, if you miss a dose of damsolacin and you remember on the same day, take the missed dose as soon as you remember. If you do not remember until the next day, skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the usual time. Do not, do not take two doses to, to make up for a forgotten dose. If you, f if you forget a dose often, it may help to set an alarm to remind you. You could also ask your pharmacist for advice on other ways to help you remember to take your medicine. <laughs> and now guys, I'm going to discuss with you some side effects of this medicine. Like all medicines, Tamsolacin can cause side effects, but many people have no side effects or only minor ones. Side effects often improve as your body gets used to the medicine. Common side effects These common side effects of Tamsolacin happen in more than 1 in 100 people. They are usually mild and only last a short time. So we have feeling dizzy or sweating, especially when you sit or stand up. And also we have problem ejaculating. Now guys, let me discuss with you regarding the pregnancy and breastfeeding and as well as fertility while taking Tamsolacin. Tamsolacin in pregnancy. Tamsolacin is not usually recommended in pregnancy. This is because there is not enough information to say whether it's safe for your baby. If you're taking Tamsolacin and you are pregnant or trying to get pregnant, talk to a doctor about whether it's still right for you. The doctor will be able to recommend the best treatment for you and your baby. Tamsolacin and breastfeeding. If your doctor or the health visitor says your baby is healthy, it's okay to take Tamsolacin while you are breastfeeding, but talk to your doctor or pharmacist first. It is not known how much Tamsolacin gets into breast milk, but it's likely to be a small amount and not enough to cause side effects in your baby. You might be offered a different treatment that we, we know more about. And if you notice that your baby is not feeling a feeding as well as usual, seems unusual, sleepy, or looks much paler than usual, or if you have any other concern about your baby, then talk to your health visitors, midwife, pharmacist, or doctor as soon as possible. Guys, please don't forget to hit the like button and support me by clicking the button subscribe. Thank you very much for your kind help.